I'm not getting anything! Damn it! Hey. Ah, uh, what do you want? You, it seems like you're embezzling company money. Didn't you use that to return your debt back to the black market? How do you know about that? What are you gonna do to me? Oh, I'm not planning on doing anything. You, I heard that you're working for a major real estate company and you're selling apartments in the new building that the Ugamori Group built. What about it? That's where I have a little favor to ask you. A favor? Listen closely. That's it? Yeah, if that goes well, then I won't tell anyone what you've done. I'll even give you a reward. Interesting, sure. I guess I could do that for you, but aren't you that guy? I've heard a lot of rumors about you lately. That there's a guy who has a grudge against the Ugamori brothers from the Worldwide Ugamori Group. What was the name, uh, Gaito or something? Why do you have so much resentment against the Ugamori brothers? That's none of your business. Kozu, please just take the heart transplant surgery. I'm begging you. At this rate, your heart is going to... I don't want to. I'm not going to go to America for a heart transplant. I refuse. But why not? I have the money. That's what I've been working so hard for. Hey, Kaito. I know you're my brother, but don't you realize that by paying a lot of money for a heart transplant, that means I'm cutting in front of somebody who has been waiting their turn for a heart transplant with money? You've been studying so hard to become a doctor, so you know that better than anyone, don't you? Yeah. I really am so grateful that you saved so much money just for me. But you know, I don't want to burden somebody else because of me. I'm sorry, Kaito. No, but what am I supposed to do? My sister has dilated cardiomyopathy. Even with the existing medicine, it's not going to make her heart smaller. But if we leave it like this, Kozu will... One month later. Really? Is she going to get better? Yes, we can say with 100% certainty, but a company called Asuka Pharmaceuticals has developed a new medicine. And they say the results are very promising. I didn't know that a new medicine was being developed. Yes, it's a brand new medicine was only approved very recently. The CEO of that company, Mr. Yujiro Ugamori, had the same way of thinking as Ms. Koze. He wanted to find a way to save more people's lives, and they developed this medicine together as a company. However, ever since they got the approval, they have done trials, but they don't have any actual patients who have used the medicine. And there are some things that we still don't know. So, there are risks involved. If anything were to happen to Koze. Doctor, I would like to take that medicine. Please, let me take it. Koze! I'm going to take it, because I want to live. But... It's going to be okay. I know it. I know I'm going to get better. All right. A few months later. This is amazing! What? Her heart is decreasing in size! I didn't expect the effects of the medicine to be this fast. Is that the truth? Yes! Kozu! This is great news! Huh? Kozu? What's wrong? Hey! Kozu! Kozu! Uh, could this be a side effect? I'm gonna go look into this immediately! From there, Kozu lost consciousness. That medicine had some serious side effects. The medicine was immediately taken off of the shelves and cancelled. But my sister, to this day, hasn't opened her eyes. Hey, hey, where'd you go? You're lost in space! Nothing. Anyway, just do as I said. Sure. I guess I'll do it for you for a little pocket money. I was just starting to run out of money anyway. Phew, it's so hot again today. But I'm gonna do me best. I'm finally buying the apartment of me dreams, Joe. Mr. Bean! I forgot my water bottle! How many times do I have to tell you it's not Mr. Bean? My name is Mamita. Sheesh! It's about time you remember it, Yujiro! Mr. Bean? You don't remember my name either, though. My name is Leon! No, it's basically Yujiro, right? Yujiro Jukimori. That's the name you gave yourself. Oh, crap, a monger, you're right! Come on, now. Or importantly, Mr. Bean! How many times? Oh, whatever. I heard you're buying an apartment! Huh? I remember talking to you about this. Oh, uh, you did? Why are you panicking? Oh, you were listening when I was talking to myself earlier. Y yes, I, I was! Why are you being so awkward? Well, anyway, with the inheritance from my grandpa and the money that I saved, I think I can finally buy a unit in the new apartment building that the Yugamori Group built. Oh! I would have been happy with any apartment, but my mom said that it's always been her dream to live in a big apartment building by the Ugamori group. 
And since they just finished one right in front of the train station, I decided to buy one there. Man, it was hard work saving up for this one. You're a great little bean in the pod, Mr. Bean. I think the saying is like two peas in a pod. But I don't think it applies to me and me mum. Well, I went down the wrong path and really caused a lot of trouble for me mum. This still isn't enough to thank her. That's right, back in the day I was part of a gang. And I made me mum cry way too many times. Me mum had me when she was only 18 years old. Me dad passed away shortly after, so she raised me all by herself. Is that so? Well, I'm sure that the people that you were buying the apartment from would be really happy to hear that you're a buyer. What are you saying? Anyway, let's stop with the useless chit-chat and finish up this work. You're right. My name is Mamita. I'm 25 years old and single, and I work as a carpenter. When I was younger, I caused a lot of trouble. But I'm a well-behaved adult now. Or at least I think I am. For the number of times that troubled me mum and society around me, I have to work harder than anyone else. For what it's worth, that guy Yujiro recently joined the company. Sometimes I think he has more than 100 screws loose in his head. But he's a funny new guy and he's nice. Ah, oh, shoot. It's already gotten this late. Well then, I'm gonna get going. Uh, see you, Yujiro. I have a viewing scheduled at the apartment that I already reserved. Nice, see you later. All right, I guess I'll go pick me mum up in the car and then head over there. Wait, what? What? He won't move? Oh no, maybe it's broken? But me mom was really looking forward to the viewing today. I guess there's nothing I can do. Oh, Bean, you're still here. What about your apartment viewing? Yujiro, it looks like me car broke down. What? Do you want a ride then? Huh? My ride! Are you sure? Of course. It's between you and me, friends. I owe you one. This is a huge help. Well then, let's go! Now, what are you doing? Hurry up! What are you trying to do? Put your leg right here. Why are you trying to piggyback me, oi? Because that would be more fun. And then Bean's mom goes on top of you. I don't need fun right now. That sounds painful for you. If you're going to give me a ride, then give me a normal ride. Oh, what a chore. Let's go. You. We're going to the apartment all together to the apartment. The apartment is crooked. Let's go. All together. Go, go, go. Bean, your mom can really sing. I could say the same to you, Yujiro. Should we sing it again? Let's A5678. Stop it, you're both getting carried away. And Yujiro, why would you say the apartment is crooked? That's bad luck. Did you hear that? He's talking to you? I'm talking to you, Yujiro. Oh crap, a manga. You're right, because I'm Yujiro. You. We're here. Let's go. Come on, Yujiro. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yujiro's coming with us? What, you mean I can't? Meanie, my matter's a meanie. Well, I guess he did drive us here. Oh, I'll join you guys later. I'm gonna make a phone call. No, oh, all right. Wait, crap! I got caught with my car breaking down. I hadn't changed out of my uniform. Uh, do you want to wear mine? You should do that, Mameta. What's the point of changing from one uniform to another uniform? Why are you two getting along so well? I guess I have to go in like this. Yujiro, we're gonna go ahead and we'll wait for you upstairs. Yeah. But really, thank you, Mameta. About what? You're buying this place because I said I wanted to live here, right? I never said that. Sure. What? Oh, nothing. Whatever. Oh, Mr. Sarachi. Oh, hello. This is Mr. Suzuki from the real estate company. He's been taking care of us up until now. I'm very sorry that I'm in my uniform. It is perfect. I guess this guy will do. We're looking forward to the tour today. Yes, thank you. Ah, about that, Mr. Sarachi. What is it? I'm terribly sorry, but... Yes? All the rooms have been sold out already. What? But what do you mean? But I made a reservation, didn't I? Yes, but, uh... Why? How did this happen? I was also really looking forward to selling you an apartment here. If that's the case, then why? It's because of the Ogamori group. It's because of the Ogamori brothers of the Ogamori group. Because of the Yogamori brothers? What do you mean by that? The other day, uh, Mr. Leon and Mr. Mamoru of the Yogamori group came by here and they said to show them the list of buyers for the apartments. Okay. And when they looked at the list, they said not to let you, Mr. Sarachi, purchase an apartment here. What? How dare you try to get a low life with a low salary by an apartment with the Yogamori group? They're gonna wreak up poverty and inconvenience all of the other precious buyers. Oh, and then they looked at your mother's age and said she gave birth as a teenager. Doesn't that mean she didn't go to college? 
A child of a frog is also a frog, is what they said. And they blew up about it. I can't believe it. I don't care what they say about me, but how dare they talk about me mum like that? Oh, um, but that's not what I think, you know. I, of course, don't think any of that at all. Just the Ogamori brothers. Oh, and also I received this from Mr. Leon. What is it? I don't know. I haven't looked inside. Why don't you open it? When I opened the envelope, there was a photo inside. It was a photo of a house made of cardboard boxes next to the river. And on the side was a parman written on it in marker. Are they trying to say that for someone like me, a cardboard house is more fitting? That might be right. The Ugamori brothers. How dare they? It's awful, isn't it? I can't believe it either. It's truly unacceptable. If you like, we can take this photo to the weekly magazine. And it might be good for you to tell them what the Ugamori brothers did to you. Or maybe you can upload it to social media. Actually, we've had multiple victims like this, and those people all said that you would be doing the same thing. I see. Maybe even a sneak attack on them. <laughs> Just kidding. This is your time to rise and stand up for yourself. Oh, but please be sure to keep me out of this. If the Ugamori brothers present me, then I'll never be able to work in this industry again. Ugamori brothers? I won't let them get away with this. If it was just me, then that's one thing. But how dare they talk about me mum like that? Maybe I'll get the whole gang together and show them. Hey, hey, Mameta! Your face is terrifying! I feel like you've gone back to the old Mameta. Shut up, mum! We going? And I'm gonna get revenge on the Ugamori brothers? What do you mean, revenge? What a bee news! Your eyebrows are very scrunched! Um, let's get an iron. This isn't a time for jokes, Yujiro. Uh, what happened? Well, you see, Yujiro. Interesting. Oh, disgusting! I guess this guy is with him. Maybe I'll rile him up a bit more. It gets pretty funny when you rile up low lives like this. I wonder if they'll actually plan an attack. Oh, one more thing that the Ugamori brothers said. I bet the guys that they hang around are also worthless trash who wear dirty carpenter uniforms. Or something like that. Even be friends. But <laughs> this is great. I could keep this up and find the losers who are trying to buy an apartment here. And I can rile them up like this. Then it'll turn into a big problem and the Ogamori group's reputation will go down. And I'll finish that job from that guy. I'm going to destroy him? B, that's not good. Are you going to disappoint your mom again? If you put hands on them, you lose, no matter how wrong they may be. What? Then what am I supposed to do? You should find a different way to beat them down. Huh? A different way? First of all, the Ugamori brothers never said any of that. Excuse me? What are you trying to say? I know what I heard with my own ears. That's what Mr. Leon Ugamori was saying. Nope. Leon Ugamori definitely didn't say that. What gives you any right to say that? When you weren't even there! Yujiro, stop saying nonsense. That doesn't make sense. Damn it! This is why I hate idiots like this. It's not nonsense because I am Leon Ugamori. Huh? How many times do we have to clarify that you're Yujiro? Nope, that's my brother, Leon Ugamori, the real one. I'm sorry, Yujiro Ugamori is a pseudonym. And I'm Mamoru Ugamori. Huh? What are you both saying? If you want proof, then here, my driver's license. Me too! Um, my license is, uh, oh, here! Leon, why is it in your underwear? Because you told me to hold on to it very close! Just leave it in your wallet. Sheesh. Uh, are you really Leon Ugamori? Mamoru Ugamori. Yeah, that's right, Bean. W wow, this is amazing. The real Ugamori brothers? Well, uh, why are the real Ugamori brothers here right now? My brother started saying he wanted to know how people are saving up and why people were choosing to buy apartments here. That's why he infiltrated Mr. Sirachi's rogue place to get on the ground information. Oh, and we didn't want anyone to find out. That's why he was using the pseudonym. What the heck? That's the only reason why you infiltrated? What do you mean, only reason? It's an important reason. I wanted to know why and how much trouble you were going through to buy this place. And when we hear these stories, it makes us want to keep striving to provide the world with better things. <laughs> That's what my brother is like. So this is a real Leon Ugamori. Now you over there, who reeks a bad character. But what is it? You've been using our names to humiliate people. We're not going to let go of this easily, so be ready. Oh, uh, no, you see, I wasn't trying to humiliate anyone. It looks like you're embezzling company money recently. 
in order to pay back a debt to the black market. What? How do you know that? We know everything. Mamoru, you ain't dancing again? Leon, I wasn't dancing. Mostly to use his leverage, and you were told to do this. To bring down our reputation, weren't you? By a man named Kaito. Um, uh, no, well... Uh, Looks like we hit the mark. It was an octopus boy again. Why is he doing this? Who knows? But it's clear that he holds some kind of grudge against us. Oh, by the way, was it Mr. Suzuki? We have already informed your company about your embezzlement. My, my life is over! I knew he would mess this up. Oh well, on to the next. After that, everything went smoothly, and I was able to buy our apartment. Leon and his brother did nothing wrong, but as an apology and a thanks to their investigation, they remodeled the apartment to make it more suitable for me and me mom. I'm so grateful. Me mom always said she wanted a big kitchen, and they even made that wish come true. Now I get to see me mom looking happier than ever, as we live together in her dream apartment. Mum, mum, mum! I want seconds! Coming right up, Leon. Eat as much as you want. Hey, what are you doing here, Leon? Huh? Because it's dinner time? So what if it's dinner time? Why not? I was lonely while you were at work, so I invited him over. Oh, fine, whatever. Mum, I want dinner too. Oh, um, looks like we're out of rice. Leon, you bastard! Do you want me to spit it out? I don't want that sheesh! Oh, by the way, I'm sorry about that time. You, you guys didn't do anything wrong, but I said some things about the Ugamori brothers. Huh? What are you talking about? This is delicious! Aw, that makes me happy, sweet Leon. Huh, never mind. I want thirds! Coming right up. Hey, are you eating too much? Wait, why did you have rice? You said there wasn't any left? Oh, because you never tell me that my cooking is good. I will, I'll say it. I'll say it, so please let me eat. Promise? All right, all right. I can finally eat. I'm so hungry. Hey, why are you so close? Mm. It's good, thanks. You finally said it. Well done, well done. You two, uh, whatever. But they're right. Saying the food is delicious or saying thank you, I should be saying these things more. I think it's really important. I'm going to work on expressing me gratitude to the people who make me a better person. And just like Leon said, I have to make sure to never disappoint my mother ever again. All right, another day tomorrow. Good night. Good night. What are you doing in my room? Leon, go home. Why not? Why not? Oh, fine. Sometimes, good night. Thank you, both of you. <laughs>